All right, y'all, we're going to integrate this integral right here, x times e to the negative x squared from negative infinity to infinity. And it's going to be awesome. And just note, I have many modifications of this integral if you want to check those out as well. Okay, so this is our integral that we want. Now we're going to split up the limits of integration. So rather than going from negative infinity to infinity straight up, we'll first go from negative infinity to zero, and then zero to infinity. It's the same function here, nothing's changed. But we're going to work on this term now. So we're going to flip the limits, and if we do that, putting the zero up and the infinity down, this becomes a negative. We've got to flip the sign. And from here, if x, we're going to do a substitution. If x goes to infinity, right, x is going to infinity, then negative x goes to negative infinity. So everywhere there's an x here, we're going to put in negative x, negative x. See that? And if we do that, then our limits change. Zero is still zero, uh, but we're going to go from negative infinity. Now, from here, we're going to simplify. See, we have three negatives, so two negatives cancel out. Make a positive here, so this becomes negative. And at this point, we're going to bring this other term down, and this is our function, right? This is our function here, f of x. Now, this is an odd function of what we originally have, so the integral of an odd function, we're going to find out, cancels out. So this is our function, f of x. x is x times e to the negative x. Well, f of negative x is where we just put negative anywhere there's an x, so negative x times e to the negative negative x squared. Uh, this is the same as this right here. So this is now our negative f of negative x. Do you see that? This is just f of negative x, so we didn't do anything there. Now, it's also equal to negative x times e to the negative x. Because we're squaring it, this negative just cancels out. It be becomes a positive, and this is equal to negative of our function. See that? This right here is the negative. The only difference is the negative here. So really, we can plug this in, and this sign here, see how it's positive? We can say that this is equal to f of x. See, f of negative x equals to negative f of x. So this is positive. It now becomes negative, negative f of x, which is here. This comes along for the ride. And now if you look at these two terms, you can see they're identical. So because of that, if they're identical, you're subtracting identical things, they equal zero. So that's, that's it, our integral of x times e to the negative x squared from negative infinity to infinity, because this is an odd function, equals zero. Good luck on your midterms. Good luck on your final exams. You can do it. You can do awesome. Just keep studying. I'm here for you. Check out my many, many, many other videos on integrals and other aspects of math and chemistry and physics as well. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.